Hi, I'm Nathaniel Axios. I'm a design director here in Washington, D.C. I'm Ashley Axios. Uh, we are married, met in art school as designers, and I'm a business owner and designer, obviously also based in D.C. So we wanted to share our story with how we uh, met DLZ, uh, which was through a general contractor in the area, and the process with which we had not one but two bathrooms uh, designed and created uh, with the team over there. So with uh, us being in Washington, D.C., there's a lot of opportunities for fun local sites. So rather than finding another place, this definitely felt like the right home for us, local to a lot of the action. And the bathrooms here were fairly dated. The house was made back in early 2000, and it didn't, doesn't fit our style in any way, shape, or form. So when we saw the portfolio for DLZ, <clears throat> we felt it would be a good fit in working with them to, to get both bathrooms redesigned and matching our style and hopefully getting the entire house back to a place where, or to a place where we would uh, feel very comfortable. We uh, work from home largely, so our home setup, especially as designers, matters a lot to us. It's important to have a hybrid of functionality and form and feel that really, as Nathaniel was saying, meet our style and just fit our way of life, our lifestyle. So we were really able to find that with the design through DLZ and have support in it because we have busy schedules and it would otherwise be really difficult for us to do this entirely on our own. We're not used to doing home projects, so this was a first for us, uh, and they made it really easy. We started with uh, Pinterest boards. Um, after a general introduction, discovery, hearing a bit about you know, what we wanted in our style and the bathroom in terms of functionality, uh, Ashley and I had been doing Pinterest boards for quite a while, being designers. So it was fairly easy for us to pull together a look and feel that you know, we wanted our bathrooms to have, and then showing that to the DLZ team we clicked very quickly in terms of like, well, what is the aesthetic taste that we wanted to have show up in both our bathroom for the bedroom and also a hall bathroom. And that was a style that was modern, clean, elegant, um, but not sterile, right? We wanted a little bit of like the warmth in it without, um, you know, having something that just felt more contemporary uh, uh, or they asked thoughtful questions about the rest of our house, how much we'd renovated, other fixtures, really thinking about the bathrooms with us in the context of the space and where we wanted things to go over time, which is really helpful for us in planning beyond the bathroom design. The process wasn't a whole lot of iteration because we clicked so well with the team and the design work they were showing us. The fun part for me, because I'm a bit of a tech nerd, was we were we got to use a um, iPad LiDAR system basically to scan the entire space to get the measurements. And that helped Dilsey create a 3D rendering <clears throat> for us to understand you know, how the space would feel from less from a 2D perspective and more of like an immersive point of view. So that would, helped us a long way in terms of like picking textures, tiles, paints, and understanding the functionality of the bathroom as well. When we got designs back, we had a few different options that were provided to us and 3D renderings, which really gave us a sense of how it would look and feel from different angles. Um, I think there were even a couple links to different tiles and things so we could see them within the context of the 3D rendering as well as kind of separately see some different angles and get a feel for the sheen and the texture. Um, you know, you might think that this sort of thing is scary when we're not getting all of the materials in advance before making the decision, but it was really thoughtfully done. It was really easy to see how it would all come together and have confidence in the, like I said, that kind of form and function. We had discussions about, you know, not wanting to have, um, you know, little rugs all over the bathroom so that we weren't slipping, just the functionality of the, the tiles and uh, the stone and the amount of kind of grip that it would have so that it could really, you know, aid us in that day to day and work for kind of the function that we're looking for within the bathroom each day. From a design process point of view, 
we're used to having clients have a lot of feedback and a lot of iterations on the presentations that we show to them. With DLZ, there wasn't a whole lot of back and forth, which was you know, really nice and it took a lot of stress off of us. Any feedback we did th have though, and any changes that we wanted, uh, the changes that came back with multiple options and all options were on point. So they listened to our feedback very clearly. Say a little bit about our bathroom prior so that you have some context. There are a couple of reasons, you know, there are many reasons that we wanted to do the renovation, but one of the big ones was we're starting to get these kind of leaks in the former shower. I'm sure many people can relate to having this shower stall that's a little bit tight and small or kind of hitting, you know, hitting my elbows, trying to shampoo my hair um, in this little shower stall while, you know, the ensuite uh, bathroom was actually pretty large overall, so it just didn't make sense for us having lots of sharp corners in there that weren't really uh, necessary and then just being out of date and older style and, and um, really not making full use of the space. So it really felt like that kind of 90s, early 2000s feel wasn't highly functional and now we have something that has a lot of room to move. The shower is nice and open, a kind of walk-in shower area with an overhead uh, shower as well as a kind of wall shower option and a nice soaking tub that doesn't take up. Yeah, working from home, it's nice having a part of the house that we use on a regular basis be a bit of a retreat. The design of the space does feel more like a spa to us. It's very comfortable, you know, in terms of like the everyday activities, brings a lot more joy to our daily lives. And at the end of the day, we both telework. It's really nice to have a space where we could just go to, relax, you know, fill up, fill up that soaking tub and just kind of unwind. Yeah, I'll admit I've gone into the ensuite bathroom once when I had a stressful call just because it was like relaxing even just to be <laughs> in that bathroom compared to other rooms of the house. So it's definitely doing the job even without, you know, sitting in the tub. <laughs> I'd highly recommend using them to friends, neighbors who uh, may have an interest in doing a remodel and in fact we're looking at working with them again. We're, we're in the process right now so highly recommend. Yes, I highly recommend DLZ and we were very happy with the designs that came back for each of the bathrooms and we have engaged them for another project. We have other projects in mind that most likely we will work with them again. Not most likely, definitely. <laughs> and. I definitely recommend them to friends and family, just from the sheer fact that their flexibility, their, the way that they guided us through the process, and the level of talent and execution, yeah, we're very happy with them. One other consideration we had when it comes to working with DLZ is the flat fee pricing. Uh, having a background in design, we've seen multiple design studios uh, come with a pricing that is involving iteration and not having to worry about you know if they don't get it right this time or how many times do we have to to get the project to the place that we want it to be it also removed a lot of stress for us we we're able to budget really thoughtfully know how much uh, we had to spend that it would work within the range uh, and really focus then while the work was ongoing on the project itself instead of um, kind of worrying about the the budget and scope creep and those types of concerns, which are really typical otherwise in the design process from everything that we understand in interior design. Having this process be virtual was also very, very helpful for us. And, you know, having to travel to client sites and set up meetings and worry about getting from A to B to C within Washington, D.C. can be such an added challenge. And having the entire process be virtual was actually a massive selling point for us in working with DLZ. Thank you.